All right. So we got new animations. What you're seeing on your screen are the three new ones that I've seen. I don't know if there are more. Uh, let me know if there are more. These are just the three that I've seen through watching other people summon. Obviously, I haven't gotten any of these myself. But uh, from what it looks like, the three that I've seen, Nimbus can appear basically in the same way General Towel or the Dragon Balls appear. You can, it can appear anywhere in any situation. And it just means guaranteed sparking. Um, you can uh, go to the icy field that they fought Broly in. And then there you can go to space and have Super Saiyan Blue Goku versus Golden Frieza. I'm going to say this right now. That animation looks horrible. Like, it looks like it was animated by a five-year-old. And I'm actually going to play the summon animation from Rayudin's video, because that's where I saw it. And I have no idea if these animations have been uploaded to YouTube yet, just naturally. So we're going to hop over to YouTube real quick. And we're, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play, just watch it. Enough Z-Power to get him the one star from the dual coin stuff. Oh, what is this? We're in space now. Does this mean a new unit? I don't know what this one means. The environment changed out here. I think this means a new unit. Now, first of all, as he said, he thinks it means a new unit. That was his multi from it. Which means not only does that animation look horrendous, it also literally means nothing. Like, it literally just means guaranteed sparking. You would think that if there was going to be an animation that guaranteed you a brand new unit, it would be that. Super Saiyan Blue versus Golden Frieza, right? Obviously, no. Maybe you can say it guarantees two sparkings. Because he got two sparkings, but that's probably not the case. He probably just got lucky and got two sparkings. It literally holds no more weight than any other summon animation. Literally, he could have gotten the exact same multi through normal five pods on, you know, Red Namek with Super Saiyan uh, pushing through. He could have gotten the exact same multi through that. So not only are the animation, not, not only do the animations look bad, but they're completely pointless and mean absolutely nothing. When Bardock and Trunks got added, they meant something. They mean banner units. You are getting a banner unit if you get Bardock or Trunks. These animations mean absolutely nothing. Let's hop back over over here. These animations mean literally nothing. I mean, yeah, it's cool. We got a few more guaranteed sparking animations. I need more normal animations. I need more extreme guaranteed animations. Not just sparking animations. Yeah, the animations are cool and all, aside from the Super Saiyan Blue one looking like complete dog shit. It's cool to see Nimbus fly around, but Nimbus means nothing more than General Tao does. The Icy Field looks cool, but I don't think it actually means anything. Now, granted, when Rayudin got the Icy Field, he also got Nimbus and he pulled the new cell. So maybe the combination, maybe the icy field means a banner unit. I don't know. Maybe he just got lucky. But at the very least, I know for a fact that Nimbus is the equivalent of General Tao, which makes it a completely pointless ad. And Super Saiyan Blue not only looks bad, but also is no different than just a normal Red Sky Super Saiyan push through. And if that's the case... What happens if Goku loses? Does Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta come in and do a final Kamehameha? Because if that's the case, then it's literally just, just a poorly made reskin of the animations that already existed. So not only is it pointless, and not only does it look bad, but it's also lazy. Wow, Legends. You know, you'd think new summon animation, something that even I have been crying about for so long. You'd think I'd be happy about it. You'd think I'd be like, fuck yeah, they did something we wanted. They did, and they did it wrong. <laughs> they did it poorly. The animations mean nothing, and aside from the icy field, they look like shit. Let me know if there are any more that I'm missing. I'll talk about them at a later date if I see them, if I come across them. These are just the three that I've seen. Uh, through other videos. Yeah, these, these animations suck, man. 
<laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Bardock and Trunks are still to this day the only two animations you ever want to see. You'd think if they when they put Super Saiyan Blue in. The weird part is Goku doesn't look that bad from behind with the Super Saiyan Blue. It's when you get in front of him and when you look at Frieza that it starts to hurt your eyes and make you want to throw up out of out of your eyes. I don't know. It's 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 just bad. It's so bad. How did they fuck this up? They they they've had over a year. They've had over a year to make these animations. And it looks like they made them in like one in like fucking 3 days. It looks like these animations were made in like 48 hours. It was part of some 48 hour challenge to make these damn animations. Uh, <laughs> Like some damn high school project. What is this shit? And the animations mean fuck all. They literally mean nothing. Spirit Bomb has more significance than any of these damn things. Whatever. <laughs> this is a shorter video, I think. But I just wanted to get across that these animations look stupid. They, they look bad and they're completely pointless because they don't mean anything. So, yeah, that's just about it. We get out of here. <laughs> if you enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see all of you inmates back here at the asylum for the next video. Peace.